So I thought I'd record a quick video on how we use Contico on NewAgeStore.com, specifically though how um, we use document types to manage structured content. So if you have never been to the website before, a couple of the key things that we do is we use um, tarot cards in different ways. You know, so I can do like a, a single reading or a two or a three reading tarot card or a, a horseshoe reading, etc. If you've never really spent much time in tarot, that's you know, irrelevant for the sake of it. Regardless though, each tarot card is actually stored in this content library. Um, and with each of the tarot cards, there's also a range of information that's stored with it. So you know, this, in this case, we're using a tarot card, but this could be an article, it could be a press release, it could be some product information. You know, it really doesn't matter what it is. Conceptually, though, what Contico is providing is a structured way for us to actually organize the information that relates to each of these documents, in this case, a tarot card. So when I look at the, um, the, the Contico um, work area, and I've just clicked on one card here, you can see that I've got things like a sequence and a title, a brief meeting, I've got a full meeting, I've got the different images that are used in different parts of the website, uh, I know what group it belongs to. So there's all these different fields that have been created here. So if you were thinking about this as a, an article, then you might want to know um, who the author was and maybe um, you know the brief version of the article and maybe what the byline is etc so you can actually create your own fields to do that so the way that you actually do well then what you do is once you've actually populated this information because it lives in this library I've then built web parts that actually call on those cards at particular times and there's transformations that are available that then format the all of this information in different ways depending on what I'm actually doing with that card so if I go back and have a look at the construction of that part uh, in document types over here, this is actually how the card was configured. So I didn't actually have to do anything in SQL or anything in it else. I just came in and created a new document type in here. Um, I use a namespace of NAS New Age Store for everything that I've customized. In this case, the document type is just a card. And I really don't even remember filling a lot of this stuff in. But the fields area is where the important area came to play. So this is where I went through and actually added in the unique properties that related to, in this case, tarot cards. So again, if you were doing um, a press release or an article, you would add unique properties in here for each of the things that you need. Um, so if we would look at one of these uh, properties, so this is the title property. So I get to define the database side of things, but then I get to define what it looks like on the screen as well. So in this case, it's a the field name is called title. It's a text field. It's 255 characters. In this case, I didn't allow empty values, so it's doing a, a null check. But then on the actual screen, when I'm filling the information in, I want the title to be presented as a text box, you know, as opposed to a text area or as opposed to um, you know, a HTML area or something like that. So I get to, to be fairly specific and I can even do some really cool things, like I can present a user selector. So that would actually you know, give me a browse button that I can actually go and find one of the users from the system. I can do a file selection, an image selection. Um, I can obviously do the basics, you know, like list boxes and, and drop down lists, etc. Um, so this gives you a, a really, really very flexible environment to actually work in. And then you can define some validation around it as well. Um, if I have a look at the full meaning one, as an example, what I did in this case is I created a, a field type here on the screen. of So this is just a long text field in the database and a field type of um, HTML area. So that means that it provides a, you know, a 400 by 300 box on the screen and it applies um, the WYSIWYG toolbar to this area as well to allow me to actually work with that. And if I really wanted to, there's some advanced settings that I could go through to define exactly what WYSIWYG options I want available. Um, so this then gives you the ability to collect all of the information that you want. If you really wanted to, you can actually create um, your own form. So, you know, that screen that I showed you a few minutes ago where I was actually providing the information about the tarot cards, you can actually customize that screen if you wanted to by creating a custom form layout here. But this is the really cool part, the transformations area. So the transformations allows me to define the different ways that I actually want to get access to the information about the cards. So if you think about the cards, in some cases I want them in a list, in some cases I want them with a, a small picture and a title next to it, in some cases I want a big picture and a full description. Um, so there's all these different ways that I want to use this information. And if you were thinking about articles or press releases or product information, the same thing applies. Sometimes you'll want it in a list with the, the title and the date. Sometimes you'll want um, you know, a slightly 
um, more detailed list that maybe has the title and underneath that has the byline and over on the right hand side has the author's name and of course sometimes you want the full article as well so this gives you the ability then to define the different formats that you want to use to display this information on screen and there's two ways you can actually go about building up what they call transformations so you think about from an XML perspective really what this is doing is it's taking XML data and transforming it and uh, and putting it into some meaningful layout so the transformation type in this case I've used an ASCX but I could if I wanted to do XSLT as well so ASCX is kind of friendly because I can just you know write some basic HTML here so in this case a really simple table all it does is it displays the title and next to that it's showing the actual title from the um, the data that I've collected you know the brief meaning etc I'm not sure if I've done too many different formats here let's have a look at the brief meaning well that's pretty basic all it's doing is showing me the brief meaning picture and title so in this case it's just showing the the title of the picture uh, putting that in bold and it's getting the image underneath that and putting it um, on the screen um, title only large brief meaning only I thought I did an XSLT one at one point but obviously not Mm. Oh well. uh, and then in addition to the transformations I then get to structure the different queries that are used to actually get access to the information and the parameters that are used around that as well um, so once I've actually built up my document type I can then define exactly what website I want to use because Contiqua will manage many websites for you uh, if it was a product you would then go configure all the e-commerce elements for it as well um, and then in the documents area this allows me to actually define where this document type is used in the document library so these are all the different cards effectively that I've got in um, that I'm using this document type for. The end result in my case is that that card document type controls all sorts of things. So a very simple example on the home page, this information here is actually one of the ways that that card document type is used, and I've used a ASCX transformation to display this information in this format with a read more button at the bottom. Um, if I go and do uh, like a, a single card tarot reading, when I actually select my card, the document type and the transformation is actually displaying this information here on the screen. So I've got the image on the left, I've got the wrap text around it, um, the title, the brief meaning. So if you, you know, if you think about how the, the document is actually structured, this information here is coming from the document, this information is coming from the document, this information is coming from the document, and the image of course is coming from the document as well. But the actual transformation is defining that the image appears on the left, that the words briefly appears here, that the words full meaning appear here. And it, as an example, if I wanted to put this in bold, then I would go through into the transformation and I would change this and actually put you know some bold code in there. And the beauty of it is, is that I only have to do it once in one place. I don't even need to go into the code that you know this page uses or anything along those lines. It just makes it really easy to use information in very, very flexible ways. And I think in actual fact, this reference area as well, um, I think, if memory serves, this drop-down list is actually one of the controls that you can use in the standard Contico web part, and this is then showing you know, the full meaning as well of, of those cards. So I hope that gives you a good idea as to you know, what document types can do uh, for structured content in Contico, and I'm, I'm only guessing that you don't use tarot cards for your um, document types in Contico, but it does really show the, the incredible flexibility of, uh, of what this product has to offer.